Alamo Dome, whether it's the Spurs, a football game, a concert, or even championship boxing or ice hockey. The Alamo Dome, like the city of San Antonio, has it all. As we said before, from football to Fiesta, Texas, San Antonio is a hometown place waiting to welcome you soon. San Antonio and in a happening town here in South Central Texas. 10-0, the Cougars over the Bears of Baylor. We'll be back to look at halftime highlights right after this. Stop doing those crazy diets. Just, I don't make a million dollars, but I make a full hit in style. I don't make reservations. I just flash my Texas smile. I make the most of life so naturally. I make mine hugging this Fashion. There's an equal and opposite attraction. For your look, your size, and a price that always fits, only one shoe store has it all. This set of academic standards will go into effect in 1995. To practice, play, or receive an athletic scholarship, freshmen will need a minimum grade point average in at least 13 core courses in high school, and a minimum score on the SAT or the ACT. Make it a point to talk to your coach or guidance counselor about these requirements. Prepare yourself now. It's never too early to hit the book. This message provided by the NCAA. We continue with halftime here at the Alamo Bowl, the Builders Square Alamo Bowl second annual edition. Cougars lead the Bears 10-0 Washington State. With the lead, Dave Sims and Rick Doc Walker with you. And, Doc, right now, you got to believe that the Baylor people got to be going crazy because they had two field goals, a couple opportunities to put two field goals on the board, and yet they're being shut out right now. Well, you're right, but they didn't take advantage of it. You know, you can look at this from two different standpoints. Baylor had an opportunity to make plays. They didn't, but yet they're still in this football game. Washington State had a shot to make some things happen, and they were their own worst enemy. Here you see on a block punt, which hurts Baylor, but Washington State had three in punt, I and mean, they did not establish anything early on, but they capitalized on this. This is the mark of a senior-laden football team. They come back and take advantage of it and stick it in for a score. Kevin Hicks scoring there. The other big play was the Kennedy 33-yard hookup, and was this a catch or not? No, it wasn't, but it counted, and it ended up resulting in three points. So the Baylor folks will be a little upset about this if we watch the field go, go up and right through the uprights. They get credit for it, but that's football. You're going to miss some plays. But this is what really jumps out at me. Washington's opponents have averaged 1.9 yards per rush during the regular season. Well, in the first half, Baylor, 1.75 yards, won't get it done. Granted, they had a reverse, had a couple of bad plays in that, but they've got to come back and establish themselves on the ground and make some plays. If they don't give up, Dave Sim, they got a shot to make something happen in this game. Philip Kent, linebacker, he was the one charged with the roughing the kicker penalty that kept the first Washington State possession alive back in the first quarter. And I'm sure he's had more than enough time to think about it. And yeah, looking got, to make up for it here in the second half. Got to get it out of your mind, Dave. You know what halftime's all about. Mm -hmm. You take your spanking on the hands and you come out and forget it, 0-0 zero, zero, and tee it up. Baylor will receive the kickoff from Tony Truant. number 23 that's Jimmy Talbot let's go sidelines now and Dan Debenham hey thanks guys I was in both locker rooms at halftime very interesting comparison absolutely no emotion whatsoever in Baylor's locker room they were void of emotion defensive coordinator Bob Cope reminded them that they are that one big play away from being right back into this ball game we hopped over to Washington State's uh, locker room I'm telling you, there was completely different attitude in there. They were abuzz with excitement. They expect the defense to set the tone, and that means they want a lot of intensity out on the field. Mike Price's club. Thank you, Dan. Mike Price's defense opens up the second half, and watch 
Justin Baylor get off a pretty good chest of yardage there. Mark Fields brings down number 22, Gerard Douglas. Five-yard pickup for the Baylor Bears. They had a lot of success in the first half with the lead, running with the fullback on the lead. Now, the stats don't show it, only five yards rushing. But they had a few bad plays. That counter step gets the linebackers out. It creates a void. Then you need people up front to make some block for you. Now, David Davis is a big young man. He's the load. David Davis, number 79 for Miller. Second and five, pitch it. Douglas, can he turn the corner? Not close. Oh, man, chills our sideline, man. My goodness gracious. Yeah, he's an ESPN man. He's tough. Run out of bounds by Chris Hayes, number 22. And he is tough. And we'll check on that piece of equipment. Lose two on the play. Nice for the equipment. We don't know. It's tough to outrun this defense. And these guys can run. You got three or four players run four or five former running back. That's been a big trend across college football. Getting those hot shot running backs that are tough guys that can convert, come on the opposite side and play outside linebacker for you. All the good defense in the country, everybody has at least one. Bet. That's a profile of the Washington State Ball Club. Second down and two for six down. Third down. It's a third down situation for Watson. Blitz, he got hit. Oh, did he get buried? A pancake by Ron Childs. Oh, darling, what hit me? Speaking of a uh, guy who had pretty good success in the backfield in high school, I mean, that is a sledgehammer hit. Inside blitz, whenever you create that, they got an inside game free runner. That is a quarterback's worst nightmare. Because you get a pretty good athlete with a flush hit, nobody breaks it up, and I don't care if you're Superman, that hurts. Childs had six tackles in the first half. There's Atterbury set to punt. Jay Dumas, deep to receive for Washington State. Going for the return, very high kick by Atterbury. Dumas, fair catch, 32-yard line. A punt of 45 yards by Ty Atterbury. And Dave, that's going to be interesting to find out what happens in terms of the attitude of the Cougar offense. They tried to run early on. They weren't successful. They went to four wide receivers. And uh, I think that Chad really showed he was much more effective. He was in the flow. Now, he's taped his ankle. You see some tape on the outside of the right ankle. You can only assume that maybe a slight turn on that. I think they need to try to establish a, a run, some runs between the tackles and, and, you know, tough it. Baylor really answered the call early on. Yes, they did. Look at yeah, Jed Davis's numbers. Those are tight ends. My yep. kind of guy. And they go to a four wide out look. Trips receivers top of your screen. And now Kennedy comes in motion to a huge place first half. They throw it outside. Carpenter with another catch. And he pushes his way across the 40 yard line. Knocked out of bounds by Joe Manor. Eight yard pickup. Chad Carpenter. Well, this formation gives them some things that they really like. And it's just obvious. I mean, you, you wouldn't be able to see Joe Manor in the, on the screen. They spread the defense out, but you're going to have to get up a little closer. He's 14 yards deep. That won't cut it. You can pitch a catch all the way down to at least get in field goal range. Second and short ball at the 40-yard line for Chad Davis and Washington State Cougars. They lead it 10-0 early on here in the third period. Get it to Hicks. A couple of yards. Knocked down by Tony Tubbs, but... Kevin Hicks, he gets the first down. Not a big game, but he picks up the first down. Hicks scored the only touchdown of the game, ending a 13-play, 91-yard drive. First time Washington State had the ball to open up the game. Oh, Hicks plays the game with great enthusiasm. I mean, he's pumped up. Nobody's going nuts on the ground. But just That's the fact sure. that they're putting pressure on Baylor. Baylor's going to have to have their down line to come through and make some plays for them. Just showing it to you. Bottom of, out of your picture at the bottom of your screen. They run the blitz and all kinds of movement. But Dumas is one-on-one -on -one coverage. Paul Reed, the right guard, move. Dead ball. Ball start on the offense. Repeat first down. They'll take five yards off the play right there. Let's see what's cooking with Dan Debenham down on the sidelines. Thanks, guys. You were speculating about Chad Davis. I just talked with Mark Smaha, their athletic trainer for Washington State. Absolutely nothing wrong with Chad Davis. However, Mark Fields, number 29, the linebacker for Washington State, he has bruised that right shoulder. You can see that it's taped up all the way down his bicep to his elbow. He will continue to play, but he does have a bruised and sore right shoulder. All right. Thank you, Dan. 
Chad Davis's yeah. angle. Yeah. They have Seems a lot more linebackers than they do his right angle. Hicks slips. Maybe he gets back to the line of scrimmage. Might have got tangled up with some Take folks there. Glenn Coy, 58 for Baylor, makes the stop. He's an impressive freshman. He really is. The one thing you have to note about the Baylor Bears is that they're playing with a lot of young people, a lot of freshmen, a lot of redshirt freshmen. And, you know, as we talk with everybody on their staff, they recognize that they're on schedule and that they are definitely not as mature as Washington State. But they feel like, and I think evident by the first half, that they can play with them. Washington State, Jeff Greedy's going to watch this play. Five wideouts, Kennedy in motion. With Curtis Johns comes on the blitz, but they get it out to Hicks. Hicks, pretty good yardage as he gets up close to midfield, pick up a seven yards. Davis Tyrone Smith Davis forces him out of bounds. Oh, Hicks is having fun. He is having fun. He's a senior that if you put him in a small space, I mean, he can just make things happen. He makes people miss. You might call him a jitterbug, kind of back. That's great pressure by Baylor. And then it's just a little foot race. He's still going to manage to pick up a couple of yards. Picked up seven on that, so that sets up a third down and eight. For Washington State, they go with one back behind Chad Davis. Ball at the 44, the Cougars. Davis throws underneath the completion of Hicks to the 15. And stopped right there. He'll be about a yard and a half, two yards short of a first down. Joe Manor put a lick on him. Joe's number four. Davis That was great hustle again by Tubbs. Tubbs in, he wiped this thing off. What I like about Washington State is that they flood an area, a flood of field, for that matter, extremely well. This is the design play. They worked the back out. They got nice matchup on the linebacker. There's no way Tubbs can cover him one-on-one. -on -one. But this is what I like. They converge. The white shirts get there in a hurry. And they save, the, uh, save that defense some time to get the offense back on the field. You know, one thing we've got to look for, Dave, and that is to find out uh, whether or not Lamont Moore will get more snaps for Baylor. Here's Atterbury. Check that George Martin. High kick. Fair catch made at the 12 by Ben Bronson. So Baylor, after 36-yard punt, will take over. Field position's not good. They're down by 10. Thanks to an exclusive 8.4-volt power pack, the Black & Decker Ranger gives you all the power you need to finish any little project, like a deck. The Black & Decker Ranger. Finish what you start. What's the best way to get your hands on the tools you need at the price you want? Get hit to the square. Builder Square has all the tools of the trade and the best names in the business. Black & Decker, Makita, Ryobi, Stanley, Hand Tools, Power Tools, Amateur or Professional. You'll find just what the job calls for at great square deal prices. Builder Square. We'll get you squared away. Today, along with the uh, Eagle Vision, we're here with baseball umpire Bill Morgan. What do you think? I like Vision's aggressive styling. Got a nice wide stance, too. Yeah, you want to take it for a test drive? You, you get a little extra time on your hands. I'll see. What's the call on the Vision? Yeah, that 24 valve V6 really hustles. I like the looks of $1,100 off, too. Yeah, you look good behind the wheel. Thanks. Green's my favorite color. It's black, Bill. Oh, yeah. So it is. Here's a great gift idea for Christmas, the new Black & Decker cordless screwdriver. You may actually get some things done around the house. Now with the detachable VersaPak battery from Black & Decker. The Builder Square Alamo Bowl is presented by Builder Square. We'll get you squared away. And in part by Eagle. Test drive an Eagle Vision at your local Eagle dealer. San Antonio's famed Riverwalk is spectacular as it looks right there. I want to tell you, it is outstanding. Six miles and more. 10 nothing right now, Washington State. And Baylor, as if the newspaper didn't already contain some bad news. They have 44 total yards. And they're going to start this drive at their own 12-yard line. Washington State defense, those numbers outstanding. Second only to Miami in total defense. Straight eye formation. Watson going to throw under pressure. Bails out. A flutter ball is up there. Let's see. And ball short. No flags. The intended receiver, Ben Brunson. And Watson comes up, ailing just a little bit there, Rick Walker. And 
the young man is seeing intense pressure, probably more than we even anticipated. Well, it's going to turn up now because the Cougars have 10 points on the board. I will say this about Bronson. He makes a great effort to come back for the football. They run that little freeze action pass and trying to catch him right at the seam. See if the ball's there now, he's in good shape. But it's late. And they're in trouble. You know, I, I still believe sooner or later Lamont Moore may get a shot at quarterback. This young man now needs one big play, somebody to help his confidence. Watch it three for nine, 17 yards to this point. Keep it on the ground. Douglas on the draw gets up to about the 15 yard line. Childs and Fields, what a combination they have been. Childs, the senior, and so is Mark Fields. Fields going to the senior bowl next month. Forward to seeing that that's going to be a quite a contest and you know he's a senior he didn't want to leave this football game and they you know their goals they would like nothing more than to shut Baylor out and don't look to see these kids coming off of the field late in the game uh, if Baylor doesn't score because this is one of the things they had on their list of Absolutely. goals they wanted to accomplish don't screw it up on offense go for the win go for the shutout a couple of things Washington State wants to live by tonight. Here's Watson throwing and throwing low and incomplete to Bronson. Coverage by number 24, Torrey Hunter. So another three and out for Baylor. And I think your question starts to loom a little bit larger. Rick Walker, will Lamont Moore get an opportunity? The sophomore quarterback from Wachahatchee, Texas. Well, you can't give up on the run at this point. I mean, it's still, it's just 10 zip. And Washington State at this point has not yet let the set the world on fire either offensively so Baylor what they've got to do at this point is just continue to get back into a game plan look like the Cougars gonna try to go after Atterbury in this punt he's standing in his own one they come after him and he gets a very high kick penalty flag and Washington State will be flagged for running into the kicker and I'm glad to see that he was at least consistent on both of them because the first one, you know, either one could have been questionable because they're great effort. The guy's going there with the intent to block. His approach was wrong, so that you get in trouble, and I'm glad the ref was consistent on that. And pretty much the same spot, too, where the Philip Kent roughing the kickers. Penalty that killed uh, Baylor in the first drive, same place in the field where that happened. Another flag down here where the punt was, was caught. Philip Glover got in there. Roughing, roughing the, kicker. the kicker on the defense. Buffer zone violation on the offense. All set. Repeat fourth down. Just when Baylor has a chance to get some breathing room. Well, that's the third critical situation for Baylor. And here they get a shot by an error on the Cougars to reclaim possession of the football. You know, and they're not playing smart enough to take advantage of it. You will not beat a football team that is older and, and maybe just better if you don't play smarter. You can play smarter and hustle and have a shot. I think Atterbury rushes this one maybe a little bit. Good snap. He has time. The return is on. Line drive. Dumas watches it hit. And it hits at about the 47-yard line. That's a punt of 32 yards. Washington State, the Cougars with the lead and good field position coming up. At Glidden, we know how hard it can be to find time to paint. That's why spread satin is formulated to cover the first time, so you can finish in less time. Glidden, a better way to paint. There's no better time to buy Glidden than now. So whether you need spread satin or spread enamel, pick up whatever you need at any builder square. Right now, when you take the Eagle test drive, you can get an incredible deal. And here to tell you more about it, I guess they're supplying me with my own stunt double. <laughs> Okay. Hi, I'm Greg. Right now you can lease an Eagle Vision with a powerful V6, cab forward design, four-wheel disc brakes, and dual airbags at a great lease price. But hurry, deals like this won't last for long. Cut, cut. Look at this picture. The hair, it's, it's frosted. I, I'm not frosted. It's gotta be lighter, sandy, something like that. Billions of years ago, the only place